For a lot of families, there's no better way to kick off the weekend portion of the fall fair than to hit up the co-op's pancake breakfast. There was families galore around here, right? It's a good way to start your Saturday. Um, it's a family-friendly event. Uh, that's why we have the kids zone there too, and everybody enjoys the live music. But this was just a taste of what the bigger picture really was. From there, thousands upon thousands of people flooded the Stampede and Exhibition grounds. It's a family show. They've got a lot of things happening here for everybody, from horse shows and cattle shows and midways and rodeos and chuck wagon races, and there's something for every member of the family. From the ever-popular zipper to mini side games and a chance to win a prize. It's fun, and you get to go on the rides, and it's, you get to have joy. Family Fun was the name of the game for yet another year. Everybody grew up with it and it's good to come back and see it still in full force. Actually better, bigger, better than it ever has been. What's touted as the greatest show in the piece lived up to that name once again. It's so beautiful here. I love the countryside. It's so much greener than Alberta right now. We haven't had a lot of moisture. So it's always so beautiful when I come to BC and uh, so seeing some of the landmarks too is really great. The old star from Rocky Mountain House. And of course, finding the same electric atmosphere in the grandstands was no surprise. So far I've really enjoyed the chuck wagon races, but uh, going to watch some bull riding and some uh, bronc riding today, that should be good. 93 years and counting, and as great as it's ever been. Looking towards next year, I'd say you can count on an even grander fall fair. We need to be out there supporting it, promoting it, and demonstrating to our community how important it is to us. And so I take my job as the mayor for people to say that this is important and I'm going to do everything I can to help promote them. Mitch Bach, CJDC TV News, Dawson Creek.